Hello and welcome to Uncovered, the podcast with your host, Jason Irving. Join me in a journey to understand what's truly happening in your world and the world around you. This is not about how you're living life on the surface. It's about what's truly driving you from under the covers. I'm going to take you on a journey to deeply uncover the reason why you are here. The ultimate purpose in your problems and the way that they have shaped your life up until now. See, I believe you have a purpose and your problems are the highway towards ultimate realization of that journey towards freedom and the reconnection of your true self. I've been told I have a different spin on most things and I'll be giving you my understanding of life, love and what we're all here for, purpose. To get the best out of this podcast, drop what you already know so you can discover what's beyond you. So join me, let's play this game of life and bring on liberation, transformation and change. Let's do this. It's working. Hey. It's working. Yay. Hey. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm here with Anya. How are you, Anya? Good, thank you. You? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. We we're just having a Enjoying chat before politics. this about your name that I've not pronounced it properly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Everything yeah. good. So Anya, Nia, Anya, Anya, Anaya. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't oh, matter. And if we swear at you, is that okay too? Or that's that's maybe a boundary? Acceptable. <laughs> <In some amount. laughs> All right. So look, I um you're in the academy and uh I'm really excited to have a chat to you today about numerology. You you uh were a little bit nervous, I guess, doing doing a session with me because I was su- and I was super excited about getting an opportunity to connect with you and find out how you do what you do. And for me, I got completely blown away. I was like, oh my God, this woman has not only a gift, but it's like second level. I've done numerology. I started playing with that in 2002, 2003, but I was ridiculously shit compared to you. I had no idea (laughs) what was possible uh, with it and how you sort of pinpointed so many things that were so deadly accurate, but you've got a different spin, right? And this is what I love about you, Anya, is that you have a different spin on everything. And that's what I love about what I do too. We, I, you've got like, you're like a unicorn in my opinion. You've got this ability <laughs> to see. And then there's this other layer that you add. You're really psychic. You've got depth. And you see a little bit beyond the numbers. Um, so yeah. tell me, you know, when you joined the academy, I know you um, you didn't feel so confident about yourself and where you where you were. And um, you know, I came in and just got blown away and started telling you how great you were. How did that actually feel for you, having that experience? Well, um, I just kind of felt that. I have to get it all in the open, out in the open, I guess. Um, And I felt safer, or it felt safer in the academy. So with the academy people, um, I started, I guess, in November um, 2019 with the academy or October uh, 2019 with the academy. And then after a month or or so, I kind of jumped right in to the, into the numerology again because of the past experiences um, that weren't so pleasant for me. Can you tell us about neglected. what that was like? Like what was happening for you that was hard? Everything, I guess, and nothing at the same time. Um, yeah. I had an anxiety attack, an anxiety attack in the end of November of 2018. Right. And nothing really special or let's say alarming was happening at that time. Um, but I guess it, it was subconsciously. Um, and I knew that I needed help uh, in uh, any way, I guess, that the, the way that I was on wasn't kind of working for me. Yeah. So I decided to kind of get help. First, it was like psychotherapy. Uh, for a few months. Uh, this is really kind of tough for Slovenians to kind of admit that we need um, help um, and especially uh, with the um, 
psychotherapist or anything kind of like that. And, um, but I went because I was always interested and I'm still interested in, in different ways of helping yourself. Yeah. Um, but after a few months, I kind of noticed that um, I wasn't progressing um, and I needed more. And then I remembered you and I contacted you or something like that. Yeah. And uh, you said, oh, I have this great thing. So let's um, uh, meet up and chat about it. And uh, I said, yeah, why not? Because I really need like needed the pro reprogramming of myself, uh, which I couldn't get uh, in the modern spirituality or in psychotherapy. Um, and your way is really different. So, yeah. and I could see that I can kind of um, incorporate it in my um, numerology sessions. So I'm really glad I joined. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I've been I, a little I, bit elusive to you, haven't I? I? You came to Australia and met up with my, my wife who I stole from you guys. Uh, and took her, took her to Australia because yeah. I am Australian. I like, uh, we do like stealing things. And so I stole her from you, uh, from your country. And uh, you caught yeah. up with her, but I, you couldn't find, I was, I was nowhere to be found. Um, yeah. So we finally uh, connected. That was, when was that? That was about 2014 or something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I was in Australia numerous times, but the last time was in 2015. So. Uh -huh. Around right about this time, uh, six years ago, and but I kind of heard about you before because you were in Slovenia before you met your wife Anya. Yeah. So I <laughs> I tried numerous times to kind of <laughs> get to your workshops, and um, either you kind of cancelled them or you it was something wrong with I don't know what anything yeah. um, happened um, at that time or something happened at that time that um, I um, couldn't go or attend your workshops. And then you escaped, eloped, uh, whatever, back to Australia <laughs> and this is it. And then yeah. when I came to Australia for, I guess, the second time, um, <clears throat> you were on a holiday, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't meet you then as well. So, um, I guess you had to bring Anya to Australia for me to meet her as well as you. So yeah, um, this is what happened actually. Yeah. <laughs> so how we Bye, met hey. for the first time, yeah. Now speaking and about I Slovenians, like I've been obviously been to Slovenia a couple of times uh, to teach mm -hmm. and uh, three yeah. times actually. And one of the things that I found um, with Slovenians, like I was really good. I could get people on their own and to yeah. open up and they would tell me everything because I've got that knack. People would just tell me stuff. And I'm yeah. sure you have that too when they're one-to-one -one with you. Yeah. Um, but in a group, it's like, yeah, everything was good. That was magic. And everyone would close up. So yeah. <laughs> I've got a challenge for you, Anya, because, uh, you know, you live there. I want you to change that. I want you to be, um, you know, that's a normal fundamental thing a lot of the time anyway. You know, Australians yeah. do it as well. We get in a group and we don't want to share our vulnerabilities. And the academy is different, isn't it? It's like, yeah. here's our stuff. It's mm -hmm. on the table for you to look at and yeah. let's pull it apart. And yeah. um, this has been really freeing for you because you've had this experience where people are like, oh, my God, you're really gifted. And you get to say whatever you want to say and everyone will say it's okay for you to have those feelings, thoughts and yeah. the things that you get stuck with. So yep. how do you feel about where you want to travel with numerology now since you've joined? Oh, I want to expand it, I guess, or upgrade it in a certain amount um, in the sense of joining uh, what I'm learning, I'm still learning uh, in the academy with the knowledge from the numerology. Uh, so I could have something unique. Okay, everybody is unique uh, in their own way. Yeah. Um, yet, you know, if there's something more, I, I'm always striving for more. That I've been like that 
for the whole of my life, I guess. Yeah. So always striving for more, always striving not for more knowledge, but in the way of usefulness in the knowledge or in getting the knowledge. So that's why I like the academy because it's the work we do in the academy because it's so practical and you can yeah. use it like fast yeah. and actually get the results even faster. Uh, but uh, like with anything, you have to work. You have to be prepared to work. Yeah. Nothing is like um, given, I guess, or you don't have the magic wand or even if you had it, you wouldn't, and uh, I, I think you wouldn't uh, have used it uh, on us because, or for us, because you uh, want us to grow. Yeah. And you want to uh, want us to um, do it on our own with your help, of course. Yeah. Um, because the, I, I think the gifts uh, or the presents after uh, we have done our work are much bigger or greater than if you have done the work for ourselves, you know. So, um, this is what I want to do with numerology or with my mentoring sessions. So kind of incorporate um, the work we do in the academy with it and kind of help people to develop even faster, I guess, um, with their contribution, of course, um, and my help. 100%. Look, and I, I think, um, you know, we had a chat at the start of the year and, you um, I really want to back what you've got because I've not seen someone who has, uh, I, I think one of the most important ingredients, which is wanting to help. It's not really about you, Anya. No, this is what <laughs> it's not. We yeah. make it about help. We make it about mm -hmm. transformation. And then we just have to pull apart those ingredients that say, I can't do it away. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, make sure that we feel comfortable sharing because you know one of the one of the things that i have in i've created a rule in my academy is no no dickhead policy i don't know what you call yeah. that in slovenian but mm -hmm. i i <laughs> just don't like having people who really think they know everything um because yeah. i don't and i've been doing spirituality for a long time and you know thousands and thousands of sessions and I, humility is so important to me and yeah. so I look for people like yourself who, who are continually wanting to stretch yourself and move into that area of helping people change. And mm -hmm. when, I, when I look at what you've got, you do have that unicorn uniqueness to numerology. <laughs> and what I've found, you know, you go and get a reading. You, you go and get a numerology reading. You go and see it, um, a tarot person. They yeah. give, you go and see an astrologer. You basically what you get from that is here's some information and everyone likes to know about themselves. Everyone yeah. likes to hear about themselves, but it's just information. And that's exactly. the trouble with those systems is they don't say, well, here's your stuff. Now what yeah. the hell are you going to do with it? Because people, people go, oh, well, I better go and see Anya again to find out where I'm at, you know, and, Yep. What I found, <laughs> I found that very frustrating. So if anyone wanted readings from me, I said, I don't do um, mm. pantomime readings where I'm just giving you information. I don't like that. Yeah. And I know that can be frustrating because you want people to grow, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I did that. Um, I, I did the readings, but I always kind of <laughs> kind of uh, suggested uh, in between, you know, the reading, what the person should or not should, but could do, because I can see where um, a person can go. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> in the majority of cases, uh, people didn't like to hear that. No, so, oh, true. you don't have the magic wand to kind of weigh with it and just make it all better for me no unfortunately you do or fortunately you know so it's like unfortunately i don't but you do oh then it's on me oh no 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 i'm not prepared to do that because i rather be a victim of my circumstances yes and you are the bad guy because you don't want to help me but i just did <laughs> so it was really kind of hard for me because i didn't know what i um, i was doing wrong at that time i guess nothing it was just that people weren't prepared or 
are still not prepared. So the majority of people isn't prepared to kind of step up and yeah. do the work. So I they would just I like change really important, isn't it? Is that yeah. I found that when I, you know, I was a healer, so everyone would come to see, see me and you shall heal me. And, uh, you know, Anya yeah. came to see me, my wife, Anya, yeah. came to see yeah. me with all these dots all over her hand that no one could fix. And I used to be that guy. So I put my hand on her and um, I didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't know I was going to steal her away at the time. And, uh, you know, all the dots had disappeared. And mm. I got sick of doing this. Yep. Because I, you can become the pop gun for people and then people rely on you. And I hated that. I wanted people to actually rely on themselves. And it does yeah. take that. Um, I think what I've done, and you tell me um, maybe what you've done as well, because we've spoken about this, is trying to give people too much information too early that they can't handle yeah. and they need <laughs> leverage time to, yeah. to, to, to know how to do it because you know, when you, when we, mm -hmm. you and I, we put a suggestion out there and then we go, well, I know I need to do this. So I'll take those steps, but mm -hmm. people don't know how to take those steps. So when we make a suggestion, they get the shits because they don't act. It's not, it's not that they don't want to do it. It's just that they don't know how. Yeah. And that's the big challenge. And I think when we do a, a package like numerology, that it's, suggestions don't even work because there's not a how and that's what mm -hmm. i know that the academy incorporation with your work is going to provide because you'll be able to now give them the how too because yeah. that's what i was missing too i didn't mm -hmm. give people a how too so i wasn't doing them a good service mm -hmm. i would just heal them and they'd be out the door yeah. and then they'd say well it only lasted three months or it only lasted a week it only lasted an hour and um, they come back to see me with the same problem and I'd suggest to them that they wouldn't know how. So, yep. it, and then they either, either leave or they just say, just come back and give me some information. Then I started sharing in my teachings. Then I had a problem because I wasn't giving them enough how. Yeah. <laughs> I think sometimes for us, we forget because we have the how in us mm. and yep. we are not providing the how enough. And I've been in classes where I have done that wrong. And I know you've probably done that wrong and not provided yeah. enough how to. Someone mm -hmm. was asking me, well, how do you use knowing? How do you know stuff, Jason? And I said, well, I just do. That's just, just do how it. I yeah. do it. So I <laughs> created a framework yeah. so people could <laughs> learn how to do the yeah. knowing stuff. Because mm -hmm. I just say, well, you just do it this way. And like, yeah. yeah, but that's not going to help. What yeah. do you think about that, hun? Is that is that one of the mistakes yeah. that a lot of leaders definitely, make? Definitely, I agree, um, hundred um, percent. I would just add uh, the point that I kind of mentioned before. Um, we are so stuck sometimes, and we are so kind of comfortable being in our victim mode. Yes, that we uh, um, even if we get the how you know beside the why um it doesn't really help because we kind of see or perceive it through our dirty lenses yes so it's kind of no use of kind of pointing that out or let's say kind of getting help if you are not prepared to work on okay um, because nowadays people just want to change but others to change for them yes. and not do the work themselves uh, or they just want changes uh, but are not prepared to do anything about it uh, everything is too hard i was like that as well yeah. i'm not i'm not um excluding myself out of this um with that kind of difference that i always blamed myself i was my own victim i never blamed others for my problems, I always, I'm still there, <laughs> there, there, um, not completely solved uh, yet. Um, but yeah, um, majority of people, um, especially now with the COVID situation and so yeah. on, blame others, the government, uh, the people, not, not the people, but the doctors, but the 
they find any kind of a kind of uh, excuse not to kind of change or let's say do the work, uh, inner work, especially. That's not right. Out. And so yeah. if we're looking at that sort of scenario, Anya, what is it that you think we need to do to actually, you know, as leaders to actually get people over that line to get them to actually realize because you know when you were doing the academy you had some massive epiphanies with our work to show yeah. you where you were really stuck and yeah. that you were yeah. you couldn't yeah. see it right yeah. because sometimes when we're in that space we can't see it either and it yeah. feels somewhat shit i've had a lot of people go god i feel really bad now that i know that i'm actually my own worst enemy yes and Did so you hate yourself? <laughs> what do you suggest, you know, when we can't, we can't just say, hey, you're being a victim until we get that trust and safety. Yeah. You're good. I think you're really good. There's two types of people, in my opinion, that actually run uh, the victim. There's the beater up of the self, which is you, right? Yeah. So you're a lot easier to work with because yeah. you'll have a go at yourself before you have a go at anybody else. So you will yeah. look at <laughs> to say okay what have i done wrong i'm the same right yeah. so it's easy to work with someone like that because you can say hey you put you carry the weight, mm -hmm. and then yep. you know i've had to learn how to not carry that weight. when you have someone who's blaming you for what is going wrong oh yeah. you told me this or you suggested this and it hasn't worked that's harder isn't it yeah that's it kind of Cause that I quit doing the numer numerology uh -huh. because yeah because um well there was just one or two like that we talked about that <laughs> so it could have been I don't know hundreds of them but if I met a person who would kind of blame me for whatever is going was going on in his or her life uh, I would quit doing what I loved, actually. Mm. Um, and I would blame myself for not being, I don't know, good enough. One of my patterns that we kind of figure out. Or it was my fault, another of my pattern. Um, and I would quit. And now it was like, okay, I will just do it. Either way, um, it doesn't really matter. I have spoken. <laughs> I have told my part. And if the person uh, is um, kind of ready to do something about it, good. If not, good as well. So it's really, it's really kind of helped me, the academy, I guess, and the um, safety I feel in um, right. really helped me to kind of see beyond, I guess. And also the, I gained confidence, my confidence back. Mm, but I still kind of have these kind of flashes where I have to kind of, um, if this is still kind of, <laughs> yeah. not, I, I think, uh, yet it's not so, it's not so powerful or yeah, strong. Well, I think that's, that's classic, isn't it? You've got the self blamer. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go, right. Someone's blaming. So you've had, let's say you've had 98 sessions which are really good and you focus on the two that were shit and then you give up, right? And that's common for a lot of people who have that self-blaming mechanism. Yeah. You know, I have, everyone has told me I've got this amazing gift and uh, I can do so many things, which is true. Anytime someone's had a go at me, I've just wanted to hide in a box and just go, <laughs> oh my God, no, 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 I'll hide. And because it's, it's all too hard because that one person said I wasn't good and 99 people said I was great. And we can exactly. do that. And I think for anyone who's listening right now, it's really important that if you have that same pattern and mm -hmm. Anya's perfect to help you with that simply because she's actually gotten over the line and yep. you, have to, you have to learn <laughs> from people who have triumphed over that. And the cool thing is both of us have this same thing is... Mm -hmm. We're getting, it's over the line, but we haven't actually crossed the finish line. Exactly. And what, what's really important around this, guys, is knowing that no matter what, when you have a problem, it's meant to be carried with you so then you can help your people. Most people that I've met, I've met lots of leaders 
who tell me shit and then they pretend that they're okay in the world. And I mm -hmm. tell everyone in the academy not to do that, to be yeah. transparent, to be honest, to say you're scared about things because exactly. that doesn't separate you from your students or the people that you're helping. They become more connected to acceptance of the problem. And we talk yeah. about that. We talk about carrying the the, the stuff not that it's weighing you down so then you can mm -hmm. constantly find more angles of those problems so you can help more people would you agree yep you it's kind of like um living by example i guess or showing others that there is a way although they feel like they feel or kind of think um as they think so it's really like you always say that um, uh, it's important um, for us to know that it's doable. So you do the stuff for us because when we kind of feel that it's undoable, doable, you will show us that there is always a way. Um, yeah. It can be your way or my way, it doesn't really matter, but there's always a way uh, for a uh, thing um, to exactly. kind of- And this is um, what I know that you're really passionate about now which is helping yeah. people find a way because yeah, you exactly. used to be that person. And I used to be too. It's just like, it's all too hard and everything is falling on me. And, mm. um, and you know, it, it's hard being a leader sometimes because everyone like expects you to be on, right? Mm, you go into yeah. a session and everyone expects you to be there. And I, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're the guy. You know? Yeah. And I've yeah, had exactly. that all my yeah. life. And yeah. it's a challenge because you, and the beauty of what we do in the academy, and I know that you feel so you can breathe because it's okay for you to have faults. It's yeah, okay yeah. for you to not be there. But the thing is, I've, I've, I've told people I've had an absolutely atrocious day and then I absolutely know my, my information and sharing because mm -hmm. I show through allowing that stuff to be there you can yeah. still be brilliant and not hide. Mm -hmm. Vulnerability, yeah, that you are vulnerable. Um, That's right. And that you do not hide and do not hide your emotions or feelings or let's say thoughts about how you feel, um, think of a situation or a day. So I guess you kind of connect more with people and they feel safer with you and I guess you get more out of them. I really, it was really interesting that um, while doing the, the numerological sessions uh, with the people from the academy, um, I often cried for them, I guess, <laughs> because I actually cried for them because I could feel their pain. I'm an empathic, I guess. Yeah. Um, a little uh, so I I could feel the, their pain but they weren't able to express it so I kind of cried or I kind of felt it in an area and I told them and they said oh yeah that's right oh this is where I feel it or this is the cause for this so it's kind of um, a great kind of way of um, helping or providing help I guess um, for um the client or let's say um whomever needs it 100 percent, and that's what i saw you do you when you did my session you were you were learning a couple of the frameworks you only just had started and you yeah. <laughs> you dived in i love the fact that you said okay we started doing a bit of polarity you you started working because yeah. you know you only learn a few of the techniques everything that yeah. i do is based on sacred geometry and the kabbalah as the baseline behind it and yeah. you started working with the numbers and you said, well, here's your polarities that you can work with. And it was so cool because I was like, you started integrating so quickly right off the bat pretty much. And yeah. um, one thing I've heard feedback wise, like all of her is, oh my God. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. the first words that come out of other people's yeah. mouths about you, Anya. And I told you and you were just like, what? People like me? It's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't just like you. They actually think you're ridiculously good. So um, it's something when, you know, and when you're a self-blamer, you're not real good at 
receiving feedback and yeah. um, you were having to deal that, with that with me. I was just like, wow, look at you. You're ridiculously good and, <laughs> and so good and capable at finding things that are hidden in the bushes or finding things in the yeah. dark that people can't see and to articulate them and share them. I mean, you gave, you said, because you're you, I'm going to give you everything. And I was just like, oh, awesome. Okay. You know, because I can handle <laughs> <Two hours. laughs> I can handle a lot of info. Yeah. And I was, I was so excited because I wanted yeah. to see how much you had. But to be able to be so accurate uh, with your system and then to be able to show the way, I think that's where your uniqueness comes from now is that you've got a blend of what we do with what you've got. And that's what I love about this work is that every person that I see who has a technique or has a gift or has something that they share, they grab my stuff and they can actually be better than <laughs> what I am, in my opinion, because they've got their own unique juice that they share, yeah. their own drink. And then... Yeah. I feed them a whole lot more food and they've got food and drink, right? Yeah. And then there's a whole <laughs> menu that you can display and share. I'm really mm -hmm. excited for you, Anya, because, you know, you want to make what you do global and I'm going to push you and, okay. and hold you accountable <laughs> to that. Yeah. I would like to be. How do we find you? <laughs> if we want to find you uh, anywhere in the world. How, 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 do we, how do we find you? Through Facebook? Well, through website, yeah, I, I have my Facebook page. Um, Academy of Progress or Academia Napritka in Slovenian. Okay. Um, I'm working on my web page as well. So um, just kind of find me on my Facebook uh, page. Okay. So what um, we'll do I just is kind of post it about compliments <laughs> today. Pardon? What's that? I just I just post it um, on compliments today, just like before we started the uh -huh. podcast. So <laughs> it's really interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of, it is my blog. Um, now the Facebook page is kind of my blog thing where I uh, write about what I'm going through um, during the day or um, in general. Yeah. So um, just like the page and see what comes out for you. And if you need help, I'm there. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, Hannah. And look, um, guys, if you do want help, Anya's amazing. So if you get that feeling that uh, you want some support, uh, whether you're in uh, Slovenia, her home country, and you want to come and see her, or you're in the wide world, the beauty of uh, what we have right now is technology where we can connect with people. Yeah. This is on a video as well. So I have uh, uh, www.wellnessbreakthroughacademypodcast.com. So if you want to see Ania and this video, you can, um, yeah. if you're listening um, on this podcast as well. And this is also on a uh, Facebook page. So Yay. it's a little <laughs> bit everywhere. So yeah. <laughs> I really believe that um, you are here to help a lot of people, hun. And right now, especially in these times, Right now, it's essential that we actually start digging inside to find out what the hell is going on because some people can't move from their houses. We're really lucky where we are. We don't have to wear masks. We don't have to have that. We, we're really lucky in the area of Australia where we're in. So yeah. not everyone has that, uh, that luck that we've got around yeah. COVID at the moment. And it, look, even when COVID does drop away, uh, both Anya and I believe that you know, personal development and growing is the essential thing that you need yeah. to do. And Definitely. I really want you to think about who you choose because I've chosen and spent time with really shonky people who take <laughs> you on a journey towards enabling you to stay stuck and people mm. don't even know that they're stuck. And I, when they join the academy, some of them I've had to break open from the shit that they've been okay. told. Um, yeah. And I'm really passionate about making sure. So you need to check. And this is a tip. Is someone living the very thing that you're wanting to live? Are they moving towards that direction? They might not be living it fully, but are they moving towards that place yeah. you want to go? That's a really good way of checking who the people are that um, can help you. 
And that's what I know you're doing, Anya, is that you're moving yeah. towards the journey. I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Really, after I'm loving it, I, I said I'm loving it because after oh several years of kind of being stuck, <laughs> mm. I really kind of needed the breakthrough. So uh, you really helped me, and Anya really helped me um getting there i'm not getting there just getting to the breakthrough and then just continuing my progress or my growth um and it's a never-ending story i guess so you, it's a lifetime obligation uh and if you are willing to do it you will kind of make it i guess to to at least the better version of yourself otherwise you will be stuck and you will be stuck for a long time yeah if we kind of speak about the um, next lifetimes that we are going to spend uh, as a different soul, I guess, but as a different person. Um, but still, um, kind of leave it, leave it to the fullest, I guess. Not in the sense that you just kind of lay on the beach and enjoy life, but in the sense of you can lie on the beach and enjoy life, but by progressing, okay? Why so, happened? yeah, so just kind of, find a better beach if it's just the one you know that you have at home or in front of your house so there are numerous beaches around the the globe so um there's a lot more to discover i mean uh, about ourselves and um this i think is the purpose of life 100 um, percent. and look guys if you want to find the beach of, of awareness come and hang out with anya's beach yeah. because she's gone <laughs> Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so Love much, Anya. <laughs> Thanks so much, Anya, for, for connecting yeah, with me today. And uh, yeah. it's been such a great privilege. And I, I, I am so looking forward to seeing the journey of uh, what you choose to do and how you're going to help uncover people uh, so they can find their greatness. With your help. <laughs> with my help. I won't do it for you, but I'll show you the way. <laughs> yeah this is what i meant <laughs> all right thanks so much love bye, bye. <laughs>